What's up, family? Down here at the UTC Ice, thinking about hockey players, figure skaters, uh, you know, even <laughs> even the parents that have to sit in bleachers all day, thinking about that same thing. And uh, you know, the funny thing about hockey players is they never really stretch too much, and they never really work out. But things that you can do and think about if you're a hockey player, you know, frog pose, same thing, straight line across. From the thighs, knee to knee, 90 degree angle at the kneecap, 90 degrees at the ankle. And then we're just gonna sit back on our heels. We don't want our hips to go too far back. So we don't want our hips to go super, you know, towards our heels. We want it to be in line with our knees. And then just three to five minutes here. And that's gonna help us just release that groin stretch. And get us to be doing, you know, splits. So even if you were, say, get into that butterfly splits. Just hanging out here three to eight minutes. You can come down to the forearms. You can swing the arms through. You get a little stretch like that. And then just, you know, think about like when you do it on the ice, you know, in our pregame warm up, just a few seconds, 30 seconds, holding it there, breathing into it. And it's nice on the ice because your knees will nat naturally sway outwards. You don't have to worry about, you know, not getting the full stretch. Your knees are always going to get deeper and deeper in a stretch and keep going do like a full butterfly. And so that's just one option. And then the other option for sure is getting that figure four type of, you know, half pigeon pose with your skates. You can put your hands through the blade holder and hold the skate in place. That way your knee stays here and then just set, setting that leg back three to five minutes also. And then just switching sides three to five minutes. Same thing, sitting back. Just stretching out this opposite side. You can lean forward if you want also. Hands can be on the hockey stick if you can. If you're a bigger skater, just try to do this, you know, beforehand. Or also, you know, Get into the hamstrings, figure skaters, and for the, you know, everyone professionals, you can just put <laughs> hockey professionals. You can put your leg up here, get the classic stretch here, hamstring, open it up, get a little side, wide leg straddle, stretch, open up the side, you know, get it all the way over here. Same thing for this side, up and over. And then also thinking about you know, when we're opening up, think of it as like a bouncing half moon. So you want to stack, stack this top hip, and then that's going to allow us to, so think about like right now, I'm in the bouncing half moon, but my leg is actually lifted up, and I'm just having to be folded forward down this way as, you know, same premise, and angle as if I was just doing a bouncing half moon like this, and opening up, and getting that same stretch, so. You can get on both sides with your hand down. You got your seat guards in. This will allow you to get really deep into it by being elevated on your skates. And if not, then you can just do the regular on the ground. Super simple. Reaching up and over, getting that stretch in, and then you're good to go. And then forward pull. You can have the boards as a little assist. If you're not on the ice, forward pull. Or if you are on the ice, maybe you can grab the boards. Put your feet right next to the edge of it. You can get a little stretch like that. Inhale, back bend. And even if you're on the ice, you know, we can also get a nice little seated spinal twist. So sit down, opposite arms come. Reach on the outside of that opposite thigh, nice tall spine. Definitely preferable to do these stretches, you know, on the dry land before you put your skates on so you can get the most out of the stretches and don't injure yourself on the ice because the ice, you know, unless you're also controlling your muscles from, you know, flailing outwards, you can injure yourself. You know, I tweaked my knee like that one time, just stretching it like this, leaning back on the ice, and then my leg popped out because there wasn't enough, uh, you know, tension for me to keep my foot inside because I was, you know, we're on the ice, especially if it's fresh cut ice, then 
you know, it's going to be slippery, it's going to be wet, it's not going to have that tackiness to it. So just be mindful about, you know, try and do as many day stretches on dry land, either when you've got your warm ups on or prior to just before you, you know, put your skates on. You know, you can have your whole uppers on, it's not a big deal. And then also, quick little down dogs. Up dog, you can do with your uppers on and lowers on. And that's just gonna release some of that low back stress and also allow you to get some space in between the vertebra. You can hold down dog for a minute, it's a nice little energizer. Stretch those hamstrings also. And if you can't put your hands on the ground, you can put your hands up on the boards. Same thing, you know, think about like in between the power play, penalty, anytime you have a timeout, if you're feeling winded and you gotta go back to back shifts, and that's where you can put your hands up on the boards, get a little breather. Same premise as putting your hands above your head, because we're getting that full, you know, extension of the lungs and the ability to fill the lungs up to the full capacity. So deep breaths there. And then just, you know, also get the shoulders more on the ground. Because, you know, we're on the boards, we're hitting people, I had some shoulder issues when I was playing hockey. So one way to stretch that is just arms out to a T and then roll them to one side, this top leg can drape behind it, holding that for a minute, maybe playing with this angle from straight out to 45 degrees, and then coming back, getting the opposite side, straight out, 45 degrees. And if you need to taper it down, you can just cactus the arm, go pull the leg, you can do that too no stress. Then we can also spread our arms through to get the outside arm bar holding this for a minute. We can bring our leg up here, do a little bit of a half of a frog pose, then come back to center. Boom. Then your up dog, down dog. You're good to go. I mean, that's like less than 10 minutes. You know, you got plenty of time before a game, plenty of time before a show. So whether it's, you know, a minute before the game or a half hour before the game, you know, you should be able to find the time, especially if you're at the rink an hour before. So try and do those every day before and after the practice. And that'll help just at least prevent a lot of downstream injuries from junior high to high school, all the way through college and then especially you know, when we're older. So keep that up. Stay well, stay fit. Like, share, let me know your thoughts. Appreciate you guys.